Okay, this is my first test recording. Um, as you can see, I think you can see the Z. Uh, this is an Acme rod. There's actually a small stepper motor on the other side of the Acme rod. That looks like this without the pulley. And it's facing down right here. Actually, it'd be facing down like this. So if you can imagine just a shaft, no pulley. That shaft goes in here and it connects to that with that set screw. And then I have this set screw set on this three quarter inch Acme rod. And then here uh, below, I've got an Acme nut welded to a piece of a uh, steel that's holding it uh, to the foundation. So the problem is, is I don't have the electronics hooked up, but as you watch, hopefully you can see this in the video, where uh, this one's moving, now this one's moving, now this one's moving, now this one's moving. And, and the squeak, of course, I think is coming from the motor itself. So the problem is, is I need it to go up and down completely flat, completely level all the time, you know. For the most part, I'm level when I stop, uh, depending on which axis has yet to go. But as it moves up or down, you know, it's moving back and forth. And of course, when you do, uh, when you do uh, little movements, it really is taking a jump. So the other problem is, is here a little movement, that little movement's right there. Move a little bit more and it's still right there. Move a little bit more and now this side moved. And so what I want is a free flowing going up and down because the print, if I'm going to print, say, something like this, my printer head, my printer head is going to be moving on this uh, Y and X axis and it's going to be printing, you know, this part and then this will drop down, each layer of it will drop down and I need it to do it very little, we're talking microns and then from there it's got to do it nice and flush. So these bearings which are rather expensive for McMaster were 25 bucks a pop and so I thought they would work. Now the bearings work fine for the horizontal stuff you know the X and the Y they work great but because there is um, because they're self-centering, they have a two degree possible change. And I think that change is what's causing this problem. So my thought was either replace these bearings with, a, like I said earlier, a piece of plastic milled with a 12 millimeter hole for the shaft, and then I just, you know, bolt it here like a block, or make another piece that holds the block here to keep this nice and steady, um, and then work with the bearing. I don't know. Uh, my other thought was to put two of these rods make a part here that the rods would clamp in and protrude out the bottom with and then another part next to here to hold the rods straight and then the rods would travel with the Z uh, with the Acme rod as it goes up keeping it straight kind of like a CNC machine that's uh, that's sitting you know on the on the Z axis you know a C machine usually has a screw through it with two rods as it travels up and down that's what keeps it nice and straight um, I don't know which one now will work, but if you can see, I'll move this a little bit. Hopefully you can see my half inch X that I have stabilizing it, and then my Acme rod with a nut. Um, and I'm not sure without watching this video how much you're actually going to see or even hear me talk, but yeah, this is a project I've been working on for about a year. I have all the electronics made and done. My extruder head is done. I've got my X and Y axis is done, so this is going to ride along the shaft like this, back and forth, and then two rods in the middle will be the other axis with the other rods that are sitting there for the extruder to go back on. And then my power, one of my power supplies is right here, and this is the plastic. This uh, this this plastic will come off this roll here and into the extruder and it'll, like a hot glue gun will heat up it will come in at this top hole protrude past this plastic into the stainless steel piece and the stainless steel piece will go into this nice aluminum end and this hole here is going to hold this little guy here and that's the igniter that will heat this thing up to like 220 degrees celsius and then it'll spit out this end this really small end and what the stainless steel is for is to help 
um, not let the heat penetrate. The heat will instead go to this aluminum plate here that I made with a fan on it to hopefully cool so the rest of the motor won't be affected by all the heat here. Of course I have to cover it with a wrap when I'm done and be able to put a sensor on it and stuff so it's not completely ready but gives you the gist of the idea. Um, this is my control panel which looks pretty dirty or pretty ugly but I'll have it enclosed you'll never see it. This is my LCD screen that works. I will give you the video uh, sh later showing a link to it of, of everything working. I just have it all taken apart again. This of course is a safety switch. This is the extruder and the temperature control. This is the motherboard with an Arduino on the bottom. That's the brains and these individual boards control each stepper motor. That's a stepper motor driver. Uh, that's my quick thorough view. Uh, anyways, that's the project. Thanks.